Hey, what's happening? You're watching Toonami TV. So welcome back to another video on the channel. This afternoon, me and Jamie are heading off to watch Gator away for the very first time. If you've seen in recent videos on the channel, I've been to Gated at the International Stadium, but now I want to sample what it's like to support Gated on the road. Newcastle United are not playing this weekend as they've been on a trip to Saudi Arabia, and next week it's the FA Cup action, which Newcastle unfortunately have been knocked out of the competition. JB laughs because that's how Newcastle roll in the cup. But anyway, today's focus is York City. So Gated will make the short trip to the LNER Community Stadium uh, that was opened in February 2021. So it's been around 11 months of its opening and uh, both Gated and York play in the National League North which is the sixth tier of English football. Gated have aspirations of getting to the fifth tier of English football and are top of the Vanarama National League North on 50 points and if they win today they will stretch that further to Brackley. It all depends on their result. York on the other side are on a dismal run of form. Uh, they've lost back-to-back -back games 3-0 and they currently find themselves 14th in National League North. They haven't had a great in the last four or five years and they will be looking for a response this afternoon. They are a big club, they do attract around 2,000 fans. So it's going to be a tough game for Gated, but Gated come into the game you know, winning the last four games, so they'll be full of confidence and they'll be looking for another result this afternoon. I'm confident that Gator can do it. Jimmy, are you confident that Gator can get a yes, result? Certainly. Are you looking forward to seeing Gator for the very first time? I am, yeah. So yeah, let's get ourselves down to uh, York. We'll just look around for a bit and then we will make our way to the LNE York Community Stadium. If you enjoy this type of vlog, then be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and let's get ourselves down to York. Currently at Central Station, uh, train is due just after quarter past eight, there's been delays, but we should be in York for just after 10 o'clock this morning. There's gonna be a full ticket check, so please make sure you have all your tickets and documentation Okay, so we have arrived at York Central and uh, we're on our way to have a look around the city before we go to the match for a 3 o'clock kickoff. So I've just arrived uh, in the city of York. Nice little view to start the vlog off in the beautiful city of York. A bit windy, but isn't it windy everywhere as they say? going to be making my way to Bootham Crescent which is York City's old ground we're going to have a little look at it before it finally disappears but that ground has a lot of old memories and uh, yeah just have a little look before we go to the LNR Stadium later on so out with the old in with the new see just at York's old stadium, Bootham Crescent. Unfortunately, it is getting knocked down. Uh, this was home to League Two football not long ago. And now they find themselves at the new LNER Community Stadium. As you can see there, it's a bit run down. Work going on uh, behind the scenes. And uh, yeah, you know, a bit of history gone there, Bootham Crescent. You know, it's had some big matches in the past. Some big clubs go and visit them. 
but you've got to look to the future sometimes and uh, this is the only access I can get to the stadium but yeah once a proud stadium is no more so this is it York's old ground some old turnstiles there I said it'll be getting knocked down very very soon and uh, it's in a very small area once an EFL club but we'll be going 50 minutes from here to the new stadium but this is just an insight of where York City used to play only last season So just stopped off in Weatherspoons, uh, just got myself a Copperberg to kick things off. Jamie's got himself a Carlin. So uh, yeah, we're going to drink that up and have some food as well, and I'll show you that when it gets delivered. Okay, so as promised, here is my ultimate burger. That looks delicious with me pint of Copperberg. So I'll neck that down, drink that up, and then we will be on our way to the LNER Community Stadium. Well, that is the York Minster. That's what we make our way to the Ellen New York Community Stadium, but this is like the city centre of York. Very busy, all time around. There you go. So we have made it to the LNER Community Stadium for York versus Gateshead this afternoon. It's an impressive looking stadium, you know, you've got Sydney World next door and around the corner you've got the Bowling Alley. Yes, yeah, so you've got plenty of space really uh, to do what you what you need to do. Uh, Jamie, uh, score prediction for the game this afternoon? 3-1 Gateshead. 3-1 Gateshead and uh, I'm going to say 2-1 to Gateshead this afternoon. So we're going to find our way around to the ground to find our section. As thank you to our partners, How are Support by Gateshead.
Free kick for Gateshead. Good chance to try and put one in before going to uh, not turn. Oh, good effort. Nice support up for Gateshead as a result. Have a free kick. Oh, he's run a dummy. He's done a dummy run. Any minute now. That's not bad. Off the line! That's twice for Gator this afternoon. Brilliant defender by Gator. Hey! Super support by Gator this afternoon. Twice Gator. Twice the defensive, stop the ball from crossing the line, but Gator would be in the better side this first half, but brilliant, brilliant defending. Unbelievable. Incredible support by Gator. York have another free kick in a dangerous area. Debatable whether it was one. I don't think it was, if I'm honest. Yeah, by Gator. The ref's giving uh, York another corner, another debatable decision in my opinion. Two minutes of stoppage time. The first half, ball comes in. Yeah, by Gateshead. York still maintain possession. And that's half time. York nil, Gateshead nil. Good half of football. Corner for Gateshead early in the second half. Good start. Go on, put it in. Go on! Oh, played by the old keeper. Good shot for calling! Your free kick. Well kept in there by Gateshead. Oh, what a Gateshead! Come on! Better watch yourself now, Jameson! Don't manage to scramble it away. Just die. Uh, Oh, that's a ball, that's a great ball. Yeah, see? 
Gates head free kick, great chance now, put a good ball into the box. Take Luke Watkins in, finish in, finish in! Oh! Come on, Gators! The left free kick for Gated. Have a chance to put a good ball in. Horn up against it in the seventy fifth minute. the three points if I'm honest. Ball up again, Ted. Ball in. Played by the York keeper. Time from the LNER community stadium, it finished York City 1, Gateshead 1. For me, Gateshead will be kicking themselves because they were by far the better side, they had the better of the chances. The first half, they created so many chances, just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. They were working the goalkeeper numerous times, but he was having a good afternoon. They had a couple cleared off the line in the first half, so York could have you know, sneaked a Unlikely one to lead before half time, nil nil. Second half, Gateshead still pressed, they still had chances, and Gateshead did you know, take the lead through Sedwin Scott. A really good finish. 
and uh, you think Gator should go on and build and keep that potential one lead or go and get the second. Unfortunately, they switched off and Clayton Donaldson uh, goes up and equalises for York. I mean, it's disappointing that because Gator should deal with that better. You know, they've been defensively good you know, all afternoon. Um, York, I don't think they're a good side at all, if I'm honest. You can see why they're mid-table. Uh, fair play you know, to the Gator fans. 400 turned up this afternoon and obviously a 3,400 crowd this afternoon at the LNR Community Stadium. You'd think that Gated brought 3,000 fans because you could barely hear uh, the, the York fans. All you could hear from them was a drum, which really doesn't do the atmosphere any good. Uh, Jamie, what do you make of the game this afternoon? Really good. Uh, sure about the result, but Gated played really well. I wouldn't say it started really well, but maybe it's all the way through the first half. They picked up the pace. Um, started attacking more, unfortunately, end of 1-1. One, one. Yeah, that, that pretty much sums it up. It is a good point for Gator on the road if you want to look at the positives. They do go a point clear of Brackley. I haven't quite seen their result. They were winning uh, bef well as I'm recording this, so we'll see uh, what happened uh, in that one. But as said, Gator just need to look after themselves. They're still unbeaten now uh, in the last five games. Just keep it going. And I'm sure Gated, you know, will be up there come the end of the season. They deserve to stay atop in the league because they are a good side. Mike Williamson is doing a very good job. And uh, Brockley, what's here? What happened? 3-2 to Brockley. Full time. Yeah, so Brockley have won 3-2, so they've got the three points. As I said, it's a bit of a kick in the teeth for Gated. But listen, I've enjoyed, you know, doing my first ever Gated away day. I will be definitely doing it again. And I will say this. If you enjoy, you know, football at lower league level, I would definitely advise it. Like, it's so much better sometimes than Premier League football because the supporters can get close to the players and the players can get close to the fans. And that's what football's all about, you know, community and just getting together. But anyway, I'm going to get back to York Central and catch me train back home. And uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have until this point, another long journey back, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Toonami TV. Uh, social media, Instagram and Twitter, give us a follow, I'll follow you back and leave your comments down below. In the meantime, thank you. How are the lads? Hey, what's happening? You're watching Toonami TV, so welcome back to another video on the channel. This afternoon, me and Jamie are heading off to watch Gator away for the very first time. If you've seen in recent videos on the channel, I've been to Gated at the International Stadium, but now I want to sample what it's like to support Gated on the road. Newcastle United are not playing this weekend as they've been on a trip to Saudi Arabia and next week it's the FA Cup action which Newcastle unfortunately have been knocked out of the competition. JB laughs because that's how Newcastle roll in the cup. But anyway, today's focus is York City. So Gated will make the short trip to the LNER Community Stadium uh, that was opened in February 2021. So it's been around 11 months of its opening and uh, both Gated and York play in the National League North, which is the sixth tier of English football. Gated have aspirations of getting to the fifth tier of English football and are top of the Vanarama National League North on 50 points. And if they win today, they will stretch that further to Brackley. It all depends on their result. York on the other side are on a dismal run of form. Uh, they've lost back-to-back -back games 3-0 and they currently find themselves 14th in National League North. They haven't had a great in the last four or five years and they will be looking for a response this afternoon. They are a big club, they do attract around 2,000 fans so it's going to be a tough game for Gated but Gated come into the game you know, winning the last four games so they'll be full of confidence and they'll be looking for another result this afternoon. I'm confident that Gator can do it. Jamie, are you confident that Gator can get a result? Yes, are you looking forward to seeing Gator for the very first time? I am, yeah. So yeah, let's get ourselves down to uh, York. We'll just look around for a bit and then we will make our way to the LNE York Community Stadium. If you enjoyed this type of vlog, then be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and let's get ourselves down to 